Good morning, everyone. This is Robin. I am Katahdin Cooking Mama's Homestead, and you're going to see a whole mess of rose petals here. This is from our antique rose bushes that we have, and I also have some that are for sale and for trade for other plants that I need. So I have a bunch here. So what I want to do is I want to take off, actually, I'll just show you. You want to take off all the green, all this green right here. Okay. So you guys, if you saw my rose water, you knew that I made rose water for my soap making stuff and also for beauty and health. Now today I'm making rose oil. I have these and they're already dried. They've been dried on the dehydrator. So I want a good oil. I do not want to use olive oil, okay? I only got it out for looks. The reason why, because olive oil will last, but it won't last as long as avocado oil, okay? So we're going to cover our roses with avocado oil. You want a good quality oil for, and you want your roses to be dry because it will mold. So you want to cover them until they're completely covered. And then we're going to take that wooden spoon. I wanted to find a wooden stick, but I couldn't, I didn't want to go through all my craft stuff and all my herbal. So it's going to take a lot of oil to get up there. You see right now is it's just starting to fill. It's got to cover it. And you're going to cover this. And you're going to put the date on it. And you're going to put it in a dark spot. You're going to put it in a cupboard that's closed or someplace dark. And then in a couple of months, you're going to strain this. Um, you can use the roses in your compost afterwards. And um, so we got it covered. And we're going to take that stick and we're just going to go down just like this. Because we want to get in there where all them roses are and get the oil in between them. That's when you see them little bubbles come up. That's because them are air bubbles. So you really want to mix this really good and get that stick down in there. Really, really good. And then I'll probably top it back off a little bit more and then I'll cover this and I'll put the date on it and I'll put it someplace uh, out of the light. Some things are good for light, other things are good for darkness. Now I'm gonna cover it a little bit more. Just going to go right up. And there we go. And that's how it looks. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think. Please give me a big thumbs up. Please like, share, and subscribe. And this oil is going to be used for making beauty products. If you wanted the roses to eat, you can dry them. And there's different applications for that as well. But this is for beauty. It's going to be for salves, creams different herbal applications. So talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.